Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss anatomy of optic discs, optic cup, macula, phobia centralis, retinal artery, retinal vein via fundoscopic image. Have you ever visited an ophthalmologist and wondered what they see during a fundoscopic examination? This video discuss behind the scene of an fundoscopic exam and show you what your ophthalmologist see. This is an ophthalmoscope or fundoscopy is a medical instrument used to examine the interior structure of the eye including the retina, optic nerve and blood vessels. The key anatomical structure observed by a fundoscopy, the retinal background, retinal vessels, optic discs, optic cup, macula and phobia centralis. Now the retinal background. It appears relatively homogeneous in color, typically orange red except following area, optic discs, it is pale pink and macula is appear darker than the surrounding retina. Retinal artery is appear lighter in color compared to the vein due to the oxygenate content in arterial blood. Artery is smaller in diameter than the vein. Why retina is orange? It is orange red pigmentation of retina occur due to the presence of retinal pigment epithelium and the choroid, a layer of blood vessel located beneath the retina, which give a reddish hue which can contribute to the orange pink appearance of retina. Fundoscopic anatomy of optic discs. Did you know? All vertebrate possess a optic disc or physiological blind spot while octopus do not have this. In contrast, octopus has photoreceptor position in correct orientation facing the incoming light, illuminating the blind spot. They do not have optic discs in the same way as human. In human, the photoreceptor cell are located in the opposite direction so the most superficially placed optic nerve fiber which divides into two parts and leave the eyeball and go toward the visual cortex and here this is the head of the optic nerve and this small depression known as the optic curve and elevated area with small depression is known as the optic discs. Like this computer CPU, this is the posterior part of the CPU. If we place CPU like this and connect it the thread like this, then it is just a metaphor. This is depression area is the optic cup and elevated area. This is optic discs. The location of the optic discs. It is situated in the back of the retina and 1.5 cm below the imaginary line that run horizontally through the center of the visual field. It's situated three to uh, four centimeter nasally to the macula. This is macula, macula present at the temporal site and optic disc present nasally. The optic disc also known as the optic nerve head is point where ganglionic cell exon exit eye forming optic nerve. This is photoreceptor cell, this is bipolar cell, this is ganglionic cell, 
an axon of the ganglionic cell from the optic nerve fiber. So this optic nerve fiber is divided into two parts and it exits the eyeball. So this is the head of the optic nerve. This is another metaphor for easy understanding of optic cup and optic discs. The, this region is devoid of photoreceptor cell, rod and cone cell making it the blind spot of the eye as it does not detect light. You see this is the photoreceptor cell and here the photoreceptor cell is absent because this axon of the optic nerve fiber have to leave the eyeball. So here no photoreceptor cell. It is characterized by the presence of central artery and central vein of the retina which enter and exit at this point. This is ophthalmal artery and one of the branch of the ophthalmal artery is the central retinal artery. So it pass, um, is enter within the retina through the optic cup and optic discs and it radiate and supply the other part of the retina. The retinal vein, uh, blood vein and pass through the optic discs, optic cup, then optic nerve and it drain blood into the facial vein, also ophthalmic vein and cavernous sinus and ultimately drain into the superior vena cava. Optic disc versus optic cup. The optic disc is an oval and circular area which is with a small circular pit or depression at the center known as the optic cup. This is optic cup, this is optic disc. The size of the optic disc horizontal diameter is 5.4 and vertical diameter is 6.6 .6 millimeter. The side of the optic cup is 1.5 millimeter. The normal optic cup and optic disc ratio is typically less than 0 0.05%. This indicates the optic cup occupies less than half of the optic disc area suggesting healthy optic nerve tissue. Increase the optic cup and optic disc ratio greater than 0 0.05 can indicate that the optic cup is enlarging due to the loss of neuroretinal rim tissue. This is often a sign of glucometer's damage. In glucoma, intraocular pressure is increased, so it keeps the retina and the cupping of optic discs is increased. There are other cause of optic discs depression, opti optic atrophy, congenital anomalies like optic disc coloboma. Causes of optic discs elevation. This twofold is elevated due to the papilledoma it means swelling of the optic nerve head due to the increased intracranial pressure. The optic nerve is surrounded by the meninges and its subcarinate space contains CSF. If CSF pressure is increased, it causes elevation of the optic disc. Another cause, optic neuritis, inflammation causes swelling and it causes papilledema. Another cause, anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, venous sinus thrombosis and severe hypertension. Retinal vascular arcade. Superior arcade, inferior arcade. Superior arcade is consist of superior temporal and superior nasal retinal artery and vein. It runs above the optic disc curving around the fovea. The inferior arcade 
inferior arcate consists of inferior temporal, inferior nasal, retinal artery and vein. It's run below the optic discs around the phobia. Quadrant. The area between optic discs and arcate is divided into four quadrant superior nasal, superior temporal, inferior nasal, inferior temporal. What is the importance of this? It is important landmark for describing the location of retinal lesion and pathology. Condition like diabetes, retinopathy, retinal vein occlusion and retinal detachment are often described in relation to the arcade and quadrant. Fundoscopic difference between retinal artery and retinal vein. This is retinal vein. This is retinal artery. Diameter is more in retinal vein than the artery. Color is more in the retinal vein. And you see there is a clear white line is C within the artery. This is not present in the vein. So we gradually discuss following points. The color, the artery color is more orange red due to the oxygenated blood they carry. The vein is darker and more purple due to the deoxygenated blood. Diameter of the vein is more than the artery. The pulsation is absent in artery but present in vein. See the pulsation. The artery travel more straight pathway but vein course of the vein is more tortuous. The branch of the artery from sharp angle the branch of the vein from obtuse angles. The reflectivity pattern. Artery is seems two orange pink area separated by a white area. But need, this is not seen in the in case vein. So this is the vein, this is vein, this is retinal artery, more straight pathway, this is optic cuff, this is optic disc, this is vein, this is artery, this is the summary of retinal artery and retinal vein. Macula. Did you know the macula contain a high concentration of carotenoid that act as a natural sunblock for the eye? This retinoid acts as a natural sunblock for the macula by filtering out potential harmful high energy visible blue light and ultraviolet light. Macula location approximately 4.5 to 6 millimeter temporal to the optic discs and along the horizontal plane. The shape of the macula is circular with central dark area for phobia centralis. The diameter of the phobia centralis is 1.5 millimeter like optic cup. Macula coiltain high concentration of cone cell 6 to 7 million cones in total and very few rod cell while 
Fovea centralis contain only comb cell. This is histological picture of the macula. This area is macula and this is fovea centralis. Fovea centralis only contain cone cell and macula contain more cone cell and few rod cell also. The macula appear as a yellowish area, lateral uh, yellowish dark area lateral to the optic disc and center part of the macula is known as the fovea centralis. It is more darker to the presence of additional pigmented cell and its diameter same as the optic disc. This is the summary of the optic disc and macula. So this is all about today's presentation. If you like this presentation, please share this presentation and please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.